talked about letting the hands breathe in terms of your positioning and not really coming out of this peekaboo stance, but more of like a long boxing stance in order to be able to successfully land your elbows. Today we're gonna to talk about where your other hand needs to be and nobody really talks about this. While you're elbowing, if you're over here, you're gonna get knocked out because a, a kick, another hand, like I mentioned in the last video, even in the times I was fortunate not to get dropped, the times I was dropping another person, <laughs> there was always a dangerous shot coming back. Like look at when Conor McGregor knocked out Jose Aldo. Like he was out on his feet and he's still like his dead weight. He's just trained <laughs> even in his sleep to land a shot. So that having been said, while you're elbowing, you gotta think of almost grabbing the top of your head or grabbing the opposite side of your head while you're landing these elbows, as opposed to just kind of like the perfect boxing guard, which is right over here and lets you kind of, you know, adjust depending on what might come in. That's not gonna work when you're in elbow range. Like I said in the last video, you've almost gotta have like a ridiculously high guard that you, you would just get dropped to the body within 10 seconds if you tried that at long range. Like, that's just the truth. But in short range, you're gonna snuff shots to the body with the knees and with the hands. So it's more like you're getting your hips up against theirs, you're preparing for a takedown, and or you're just taking up their space and striking in that empty space and creating space. So, totally different paradigm than, uh, than, than traditional martial arts, which kind of like makes space and then hits. This one is more taking up space and, uh, and creating space going backwards. So again, just one thing I wanted to stress today really quick was that opposite hand positioning, which is so crucial. You really gotta have it this ridiculously high and have that other hand covered while you're throwing these elbows and, and, and train so that that's natural. Get that flexibility in your shoulder and in your back and in your, uh, in your rotator so that you can get up here comfortably and switch really quickly. Not really my my forte, but it's, it's really fun once you do get it down because you can literally just start walking shots with your elbows the same way you walk fast shots with your punches. So just something to think about there. That perfect guard isn't gonna work. Let it breathe a little bit for the elbows. And when it's time to throw, shell up, and make sure you got those shells happening.